Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Energy efficiency is the best way to reduce waste, create jobs, and the only way to reduce emissions and make money while doing it. So says Philippe Dunsky, a widely respected international expert on energy efficiency in Canada. Energy efficiency is the key to enabling a reduction of carbon emissions in Canada. And without energy efficiency, for example, there's no way that we can meet our Paris targets. Indeed, Dunsky says energy efficiency can deliver 50% of the emissions reductions that Canada and the world needs to meet international agreed-upon targets. It's all part of a four-point strategy to move to a low-carbon economy. The first thing that energy efficiency does is it cuts down waste. And of course, the worst emissions that we are putting into the atmosphere are the emissions that we're putting out there for no purpose, for no value for us, right? We're heating the outdoors instead of heating our homes. And so getting at that waste is the very first thing that we need to do to cut emissions. First strategy, do energy efficiency first. Fully two-thirds of energy consumed is currently wasted, says Dunsky. The second thing that cutting energy waste does is it helps us to green our grid faster. And let me explain that. If demand for electricity continues to grow, then we're kind of like hamsters spinning in the wheel, right? Every time we're adding new solar power, adding new wind power to the grid, really all we're trying to do is keep up with the growth in demand. And we're still using those same coal plants and those same gas plants to provide all of the energy that we've relied on in the past. Energy efficiency helps ensure new renewable energy is actually bending the curve on emissions. The third piece is using that clean grid to electrify end uses. And by end uses, that's kind of jargon for basically mobility, vehicles, uh, and heating. So electrifying vehicles and electrifying our heating systems with heat pumps, for example, is critical third piece of the puzzle. The fourth piece is whatever's left because there are a bunch of things that we can't electrify. We turn to bioenergy. As people electrify heating and use electric vehicles, demand for electricity could increase by up to 50%. But Dunsky says energy efficiency could reduce that increase to 15%. And an EV is going to be more than twice as efficient as an internal combustion engine. The same thing is true on heating. When we're heating our homes with, let's say, natural gas we're getting at something like 90% efficient, which sounds like a lot. When you move to heat pumps, you're actually getting to something like 300% or more efficiency. The scenario involves investing about two and a half times more in energy efficiency. What we find typically, the energy efficiency measures, are negative costs. It ends up being negative $10 or negative $20 per ton because we're actually saving more money than it costs us to implement the measures. You can't say that about pretty much any other resource. He says investing in energy efficiency not only makes money, it makes businesses more competitive and creates a lot of jobs. If Canada were to accelerate its efforts in energy efficiency, we find a net increase of 118,000 full-time equivalent jobs in Canada. Philippe Dunsky is a member of the Federal Generation Energy Council and the president of Dunsky Energy Consulting. He presented these findings at the Alberta Energy Efficiency Alliance conference held recently in Edmonton. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.